Well, hello everyone. This is Wilson Cole and I am president of Backdoor Hiring Solutions. We're the creators of BackdoorHires.com. I'm also president of Adams, Evans & Ross. And I want to take a, a moment to visit with you a, a webinar that we did recently and it was well attended, but there were some folks that were wanting to make it, just didn't have the time. And I, I certainly understand and respect that. But what I've done is I've kind of done a recap on this video of the five states that you really want to pay close attention to and have some weirdness in them when it comes to recruiting. The number one, which most folks are probably very familiar with at this time, I mean, it's their Supreme Court ruled 25 years ago that if you don't have an agreement, you cannot sue on recruiting fees. And that is the state of Massachusetts. Now, let me caution you. We can always run things through the state of Massachusetts through collections, and we can even sue in the state of Massachusetts through our forwarding attorneys up there if you do not have a signed agreement or with a signed agreement in Massachusetts. But understand if the, their attorney finds it out in the case law and brings it up, it's going to make a pretty quick end to that lawsuit. But I'd say we probably have you know, a half a dozen successful lawsuits for every one that goes sideways up in Massachusetts on that issue. So just keep that in mind. So the state of Massachusetts, get a signed agreement. You really get a signed agreement everywhere. To a lesser degree, a state that you really need to watch for is the state of Illinois. The state of Illinois isn't quite as precise as they are in Massachusetts, but it's quickly becoming, if you don't have a signed agreement, Eh, it's going to become a problem. The third state that you you need to watch with some weirdness on there, we've talked about it before in the past, is the state of New Jersey. The state of New Jersey, you have to be licensed as a recruiter or a staffing firm. And if you're not, you can't use their court system. And as our uh, New Jersey forwarding attorney has told us, it's an absolute defense, which means that you know, you can sue them. And, you know, I'd say there again, it's kind of like with Massachusetts, we may have a dozen successful lawsuits where our clients aren't licensed in the state of New Jersey, but we're going to have one go sideways and, and it's an absolute defense. So it gets kicked out of court and you can't even rebring it up in another area. But if you're not licensed, you are not able to you're not able to utilize our court system, and, and it's, there again, an absolute defense. Another one, and, and this one's kind of new to the radar, this is the state of South Carolina. You have to be licensed. The licensing is overseen by the bar, of all things, the, the South Carolina, their attorney bar, and it's actually criminal if you're not a recruiter. Now, I don't mean this with any in disrespect because I mean, I have made my living service in, you know, recruiting and, and staffing, but literally in the state of, of South Carolina, you could be arrested for impersonating a licensed recruiter. So just kind of keep that in mind. Another state that you need to keep in mind that is problematic, and we have just literally stopped suggesting that you have suit filed. And there again, that's in the state of South Carolina. It's a non-garnishable state, which in other states, if we sue them, have them sued, we get a judgment, our forwarding attorneys can go pull money out of their bank account, redirect their accounts receivable. You know, just they, there's some real teeth to enforcing that judgment. In the state of South Carolina, you don't have the power of garnishment. So if you get a judgment and they still don't want to pay you, the courts are not, in my opinion, aggressive enough enforcing it because they're not going to throw the, the business owners in jail because they, they got rid of debtor's prison here in the U.S. You know, a couple hundred years ago. But just understand that if you deal in the state of South Carolina and they do not pay you, run it through collections. You know, we're going to still be successful. You know, 80%, 85% of the time, typically we're 87% nationally, but South Carolina, it's a little less. But if they don't pay, then I'm not going to recommend suit. If you want us to have suit filed, we'll certainly sue it. But less than half of the ones that we sue actually wind up, I'd say a lot less than half. Uh, last year, it was about half of that. So about 25% of, of the ones that we sued and got a judgment we were able to enforce versus 80% everywhere else. So keep that in mind. And last but not least, and this is kind of a bonus one, is the state of Florida 
and you can you can get around it technically if you file suit in the state of Florida you're supposed to be registered with the corporations and if they bring it up as an issue then you can go back and file as a foreign corporation for 3 years pay the 6 or 700 bucks you know to get proactively registered that one's an easy one easier one to work around where you know like with the licensing in New Jersey you can go get licensed after the fact but it only covers everything forward not anything that you've done in the past but in Florida we are seeing that argument a little bit more and it kind of you know 10 years ago we saw it a lot more than it stopped well it's kind of starting to raise its head again so if you're dealing in the state of Florida yeah you probably want to get registered as a as a foreign corporation. But if you'd like to see how the software works and you want to book a demo, go over to backdoorhires.com, click on you know book a demo and guys over there will walk you through it. And if you have a collection need that you need our help or specifics on a collection issue, please uh, go over to staffingdebt.com and book a 30-minute free consultation with either myself or one of our staff attorneys. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Wilson again, and this video was brought to you by Backdoor Hiring Solutions. And if you like the content, make sure that you click the like button. And also, if you want to receive additional videos, then please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to learn more about our software, please visit our website at backdoorhires with an S.com. And then also, if you'd like a copy of my free book, The Top Nine Excuses, please click in the, the video notes below and there's a link where you can get this book absolutely free. Just simply pay for shipping and handling. Thank you.